Police are still looking for the people responsible for a shootout that killed an innocent woman who was taking her daughter to get a prom dress. 39. Jesus Christ. Man, is this Dallas? Holy shit. I mean, these stories be so sick. You can just tell this is sunny. It just starts off. This, no like arrest. A lot of stories are boring. This one starts off like this is sun. Police are still looking mm. for the people responsible for a shootout that killed an innocent woman who was taking her daughter to get a prom dress. 39-year-old Anna Marino was killed by this weekend's gunfire that erupted in the Pleasant Grove neighborhood of Dallas. Three other men were shot. Police sources tell us they were the intended targets. Fox mm -hmm. Force Davidson Tendry. I would love to see a line up with those three guys. <laughs> yeah, this is not Gladys. You're right. You're, yeah. you're right, I, when you put it that way, like you could, you could just... Yeah. The theme is not gliders. Yeah, it's it's not gliders they came out with this so blunt. Sorry. If it was, if it was glider news, it's on CNN. My bad. Yeah, and, and oh. it would be like so boring, right? It would be like so like. Yes, is it, they wouldn't have done it like this, like gliders. It just, it just the, the recklessness, the brazenness, the destruction of a life, the sorrow they bring. Like some people, we bring sorrow. You know what but I'm it, saying? But it could be on Brito's too, right? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't put that out of the question here. Maybe, but it's a 90% chance. It feels, it feels very sun-like. Is this Texas? Because the Brito's do be getting down it's in Texas. Dallas. Dallas. But it, it does feel I'm very sun-like. We'll see, man. Of Dallas. Three other men were shot. Police sources tell us they were the intended targets. Fox 4's Davidson Tendry. Live to the update. David. Oh, this is sunny. Yeah, Heather and Steve, we do not know who these shooters are, where they're from, or what led to all of this gunfire. We're talking about dozens of mm. yeah, so bullets just fun. ringing through that area of town in the middle of the day on Saturday. Tonight, no one is in custody. Your father saw someone hanging out of a car window and yeah. shooting That's mm -hmm. the sun, out of the passenger side, and they were yeah, shooting at the other so. car. A Pleasant Maybe Grove so. woman who does not want to show her face says her 65-year-old father was ducking for cover behind a tree as bullets were flying near the intersection of Bruton and North Masters Drive Saturday. Dallas police say people in two vehicles were shooting at each other. Two Dang. different sounds of gunshots. 39-year-old Anna Moreno, an innocent bystander, was struck and killed while driving her 18-year-old daughter to get yeah, her dress something. for senior prom. Fox 4 spoke... That's fucking horrible, man. Yeah, that's yes. definitely our people. That's our people who did that dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I... Yeah. Boy, in, he so, said that's our people? Yeah, that's our people, man. That's us. Mm. So I can, in that in that list, the gliders are killing us. The the sun are killing us. Where's our four acres in the mule? You'll get it after they get their fourteen <laughs> trillion. What? <laughs> Look with her daughters Sunday. I didn't care about about the prom. I didn't care about anything. I just wanted her to be okay. She was so excited to see her get ready for prom. She was excited for everything. She was so excited for us to graduate. That's all she wanted. The crime scene was covered in evidence markers Saturday. On Monday, Dallas police gave an update on the three other people shot, who are all males. What can you tell us about the three people who were shot but survived? What is the status? What is their current conditions? They remain in critical condition. The Dallas police spokesman would not go into detail about them, but a police source tells Fox 4 those three males shot were intended targets in the shootout. It's unclear what role they may have had. I'm just sick and tired of seeing these types of incidents in our city. Dallas City Council member Jaime Resendez represents this area. We don't know exactly where these folks were coming from. We don't know where they were going to. We don't know where they live. Unfortunately, this is just where the incident occurred. Resendez is calling on anyone who has information about the shootout to contact police. And not just this incident, but any incident of crime in our community. We can't expect the government to solve all our problems. We have to work together. I'm angered, I'm outraged, and I know the community is outraged as well. We do know there are police and security cameras stationed at that 7-Eleven convenience store right at the intersection of where that shooting took place. However, police have not said if the shooting was captured on that footage and 7-Eleven. Nobody in custody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hope Hanging it was out us. the window, that's the one that does yeah. it for me. I mean, if, I don't know if it makes sense. I hope it was, I really hope it was us though. I, I mean, I don't know if that makes sense. 
And they said that she seen them. She seen them hanging out the window. Like she actually seen a person. Right. So give us a description. Then. Yeah, yeah. You must know. The, the public. The public is terrified. The public deserves to know. Yeah, but sometimes you got. It goes without saying, though. But, I but. mean, I don't know. I don't know that that's necessarily true. To be honest. I mean, I think it's son, but it very well could be the Umbritos. Damn, who killed this little glider kid? Just tell him that I love him one more time. Three words. Josephine Boyd will never be able to tell her nephew, Damn. Matthew Ballesteros, again. He was a very loving, Umbrito very kid. sweet, sweet. These are gliders, man. Yeah, I don't know. He probably got Umbrito dad. Yeah, these are like, yeah, very, very He's a frozen slow. burrito. Yeah. Sweet, just always, even from when he was little, just so caring and helping his mom with the kids. She says Matthew was having a barbecue with a couple of friends at an apartment complex near 39th Avenue and McDowell Road on Saturday. But just before midnight, he had went outside to call his mother to come pick him up. And he ended up getting shot in his shoulder and in his head. Matthew was rushed to the hospital where he held on to his life. We had to take him off the of life support on Mother's Day and he was already gone from his from his injuries. Phoenix police say early information indicates the suspect was in the group with Matthew. Josephine is in disbelief that it could have been one of his friends. That's the hardest thing because all these young kids are just out hurting each other and it's just so devastating. Shooting in our are still looking for the suspect. So if you yeah. know anything that could help in this case, you are asked to call silent witness and the family is now planning for Matthew's funeral and they could use some help with the expenses. We do have a link to their 